Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of the Keswick Ripple Podcast. My name is Jim Lang. I'm the Director of Guest Services here at America's Keswick. And each week we want to bring you a testimony that we hope encourages your heart and life. One of the most dynamic parts of our ministry is that when a man or woman comes to one of our programs and is radically changed by the gospel of Jesus Christ, they are then sent out to their churches, their communities, and families, and God uses them in a mighty way. And so today I want to introduce you to CJ. CJ is a graduate of the Colony of Mercy. He is a graduate of our discipleship program. And so CJ, welcome. Thank you. And thank you for taking some time to, to share your story with us. Why don't you start out by telling everyone kind of what your life was like before coming to the colony? Okay, so um, for the first 30 years of my life, or 30 plus years of my life, um, according to world standards, I was very successful. Um, drug abuse wasn't really a part of it. Um, I had made it to like the upper echelon, we'll just say in the um, culinary world. Um, I was an executive chef and so I was just kind of just busy with my life just uh, building a little mini empire. Um, and then I had a radical change as far as professions. I became a police officer and through the few years while I was a police officer I wound up getting injured on duty. And then from that injury several um, surgeries and then introduced to opiates, painkillers. Mm -hmm. Um, from that point on, it kind of procured into just a, uh, a lifestyle of um, addiction. And, um, and from that point on, it was just a hamster wheel of, you know, going to rehabs and, and uh, getting clean. I found, you know, I found Jesus in the midst of all that, but still never getting to the root of, 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 what, of what it is. Um, that could actually save me and break the chains of addiction. And so, you know, I guess you can say up to the point and to the coming of the colony, it was, it was a search. And the reality of it was is that, you know, um, what I needed to find was exactly here. So, so how, did you, how did you hear about the colony? And uh, what kind of finally made you decide, okay, I, I, I need to go? That's kind of a funny story a little bit. Um, one of your first residents in Barber's Place was brought here through a Reformers Unanimous um, a Christian uh, faith-based uh, recovery program. And um, through that, I remember coming up here when we were dropping her off, I'm saying to myself, wow, this is a really cool place to be. Wouldn't mind hanging out here and little, learning a little bit more about God's Word. And then lo and behold, about five months later, I was a, I was a resident in the colony. Okay. And um, so... During your time here, what was one thing that God really kind of pressed on your heart that, that you kind of still you cling to today? Okay, so, you know, getting to the root or to the, to the core of my issue, um, throughout the whole, my whole entire life and what my life was before, I was, I was a selfish person, very prideful. Um, I pride myself in, in my work. I pride myself in anything um, that would... Um, be about myself. And so with the way I went about my addiction is was the self-serving, um, you know, um, I wanted more of me. And that was really kind of, um, and getting to the core and to the root of that. So what, you know, what combats the, um, the selfishness? It is selflessness um, and learning that serving and serving others and loving others and loving God um, that there I was able to draw out of it and, mm. and really bring it to manifest itself. And so how is God now using you? You, you, know, you graduated the program and, and uh, how is God using you now to, to minister to others and to serve others? Wow, well, how isn't God using me? Uh, that's really kind of... Um, so I am on staff at New Hope Philly. Um, it is a urban missionary church um, planted in southwest Philadelphia. Um, I serve on staff there. I have kind of like a dual role. Um, I guess you could say I'm house manager. Um, to really, it's more of an opportunity to be able to uh, speak into the lives and, and learn biblical truths um, while serving as the men come serve as interns. And then also I serve myself, the community as an urban missionary. And so what it does is that now God helps me walk out of my addiction through selfless serving. Mm -hmm. And so no longer am I serving myself, am I thinking about myself, am I thinking about, you know, pleasing me and simple, you know, and 
now it's just it's in full manifest and it's such a, a beautiful platform um, to really to live out the anecdote to addiction yeah. so That's awesome so more likely than not there's probably someone watching today who is struggling with addiction what would you say to them well you know an individual at one point in time in their life who is struggling with they realize you know, as en enough is enough, you know, um, that when you come to the end of yourself and there isn't anything left, you know, it, it always seems to be that when we have um, individuals who speak into our lives to listen to what they have to say, you know, if they're telling you that you need to go away and get help, you should go away and get help. Um, it's that pride, yeah. you know, that's so hard to break that. But the most courageous individuals who who I've met in my life is the individuals like yourself and 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 women who go to Barbara's place and the men in the colony that they actually say, you know what? I can't do this. Mm -hmm. I can't do this. I need Jesus. And what a better place to be surrendered, broken. And then restored and repurposed. Then, then is the colony of mercy. Awesome. Yeah. CJ, thank you for taking some time to share a little bit of your story. We hope thank CJ's you. testimony was an encouragement to you. If it was, hit the like button, share it on Facebook, and we will see you next week. Have a great day.